Welcome to this lesson on how to calculate your market share. If you have viewed our lesson on how to calculate market size, you will have the basic data you need to begin market share calculations. So, let's look now at how to get started and how to start using the information you acquire. Increasing market share is one of the most important objectives of business. In order to develop a viable growth strategy, you will first need to calculate your market share. Calculating market share provides companies with valuable insights into their competitive landscape, performance, growth opportunities, and strategic decision-making. It is a fundamental metric for understanding where a company stands in its industry, and how it can improve and thrive. In this lesson, we will examine several approaches to calculating your market share. There are four popular ways to calculate market share. The first is the the classical market share formula, which is based on the industry's total sales. The second, the customer market share formula is customer-centric, so you have to know the total number of customers within your market. The third is the the relative market share formula, which is based on the market shares of your industry's key players. And finally, the market share growth formula relates to all three of the above, allowing you to see how your market share has grown over time. In the classic market share formula, you need to first find your company's total sales for a preferred period, and then divide that number by the industry's total revenue during the same period, then multiply the number by 100 to get a percentage amount. For instance, let's say you sell shoes and your total sales for a quarter equaled $100,000. During that same time period, total industry sales were $1 million. Your market share would equal 10%. The exact formula would look like this. $100,000 divided by $1 million equals 0 0.10 multiplied by 100 equals 10% market share. This metric will give you an overall understanding of your company's position within the industry. However, try to compare yourself against direct competitors. Otherwise, this won't be a valuable metric for you to track. In some cases, you might measure market share by the number of customers instead. This is usually the preferred method for more prominent industries, which tend to have these figures readily available. In this case, you trade sales for customers to get a similar percentage amount. Keeping our shoe company example, say you have 50,000 customers during that same quarter. The business is located in an area where there are 1 million shoe customers during that same period. So, the formula would look like 50,000 divided by 1 million, which equals 0 0.05 multiplied by 100, which equals 5%. Another way is to compare your performance to industry leaders. Here, you divide your market share by your top industry competitor's market share. Then, multiply this result by 100 to get a percentage amount. Using the previous example, let's say the largest direct competitor has a 45% market share. Then, your relative market share formula would look like this. 10% divided by 45% which equals 0.22 multiplied by 100, which equals 22% relative market share. The result is your portion of the market, in relation to your largest competitor. This metric could serve as a more accurate representation of your business's financial state. And another way is to calculate your change in market share over a given period. To track market share growth, you'll need to compare your market share numbers across different points in time. Let's say in April of 2021 our market share was 10%, and by April of 2022, it had grown to 25%. In this case, our market share has increased by 15 percentage points. To figure out the growth rate, we'd divide the increase by the original market share, and multiply by 100. This means last year our company market share grew by 150%. Your market share growth calculation would look like this. 15% divided by 10% equals 1.5 divided by 100, which equals a 150% increase over time. As we have seen in this lesson, determining market share is a valuable tool in informing your marketing strategy and your planning for new product and new business development. 
We have briefly considered a range of approaches to compiling market share data and for analyzing and using the data. For many small to medium-sized businesses, decision makers will need to depend on best estimates of market size and market share. In the next lesson, we will examine how you can interpret and use the market share data you have acquired to frame strategies for growing your market share. Want to learn more about this subject? Then click on our website to view the full course. Why not subscribe and get access to free articles and special offers? Join the global career highway now.